Hello and welcome to my first steps video of ProScience graphical programming software Micon L. Um, first I will show you how and where to download the Micon L software. After that I will start the software and explain to you uh, the user interface. And I will show you an example how to program the mini PLC STG600. So to download the software you go on www.bards-electronic.de and you switch the page uh, into English. You go on industrial technology, then you choose mini PLCs and accessory, and then you go on software. Somewhere in here you find Mikonel for mini PLC download and the download link is just in there so you will save the zip file and you will go to your download folder and you will unpack the file just with a right click uh, and unpack to a, to a new folder. Okay, so what we have here are the files uh, to install the program and to install a program in English you click on EN and run the software. Uh, you'll have to accept the license agreement and then you will unpack the software to a new folder or wherever you want to put it. I'll call it Mikonel and I'll unpack it. So now we have a folder with the start me. Um, you just click on it and it will open. What you have to do now is, uh, it's important, you have to um, connect your mini PLC to your computer with the USB cable and once you have connected those two you have to configure a serial interface and you'll select uh, COM4 OK So now you have connected your PLC to the program and you can start Mikonel. So now we can create a new project. It's either here in the toolbar or uh, over here. So we'll make a new project. And you have to select the STG600, which you have connected right now. And you you uh, give a new name to the project, uh, call it project new. Okay, so that's where we are in editing mode. The first small program is the blinking status LED. That's what you can see here. So um, I will explain you the user interface right now. So. This is the toolbar. You can use the toolbar or the submenu to select different options. Uh, here in the screen title bar you have the project name and it also shows you where you are exactly in your project. So on the left side you have the project tree. And in the project tree, you can create a new uh, program block or a new macro block uh, just by right clicking into that field. So you can create a new block, you call it whatever step, I don't know, and you created a new macro block. As you have already seen, this is the worksheet. I'll switch back to program. Um, 
That's why you put all your function blocks and connect them. On the right side, there is the library tree. And uh, here you can select all your function blocks, like and, not, or, and all the others. Whatever you are looking for, you'll find in here. Um, then here you have the message window. Uh, later on, when we're going to program, uh, we'll see what's happening in here. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, right now I will show you how to program something small. As you can see in the picture, I have a small experimental setup. It's the uh, mini PLC, the STG600, which is connected to three LEDs, a switch and a potentiometer. And to program the STG600, it will have to be connected uh, with a USB cable to the computer. So at first I will program the potentiometer. For that I will choose um, the analog input as the uh, potentiometer is on in 3 um, to get the function block into the worksheet, you just have to drag it and drop it into the worksheet. And as it is input 3, you have to choose in 3. Okay, so that's the first step. And uh, now we'll put a numeric display into the worksheet which you have to choose again from up there just drag and drop it in there so now we'll have to connect those two blocks and that we can do by hovering over the output of the analog input and we'll just make a left click and then drag it to the app input of the numeric display and click left again and then we have connect with that. Um, right now we're going to program the LEDs. Um, there we have a digital input. It's on in one. So in one is a digital input. Okay, so that's the switch. And we have digital outputs which are the three LEDs. This is the LED number one. LED number one is in output one and it's green. The second LED is in output two. Output two it's yellow. And in output three it's red. Very simple. So now we can connect them again and as it's only one input uh, we have to connect them all together to this line so that's my first program with the SDG 600 so now we can save it over here and to download it on the mini PLC we just have to click on download and what we see here in the message window now is uh, all the status um, data that we are given and now okay So what we see here is when I switch the switch for the LEDs you see that it's green so it's on one and now I'm going to change the value of the potentiometer you see I'm going down, going up again, going down and that's about it um, 
Now we see here that we are in online mode, so everything that's happening we'll see there. Now we can switch to offline again. And if we want to change anything in our program, or well, we want to go back to editing mode, we click, uh, we we'll make a right click and go on edit. So we're back to editing mode. Um, so that's it uh, for now with the video. I hope you learned something and I could be of some help.